Okay, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Iori Folani. Today, let's take a look at um, what? Uh, politics in uh, Anambra. Uh, let's go all the way over to Anambra State, uh, where our guest uh, waiting for us is, uh, uh, well, he's a member of the, former member of the, uh, of the Ninth National Assembly as a House of Representatives member, in fact, representing um, Idemili North and uh, South federal constituency in the person of Dr. Ithiai Chuku Ibezi. Uh, a fine morning to you, sir. Morning. Morning, Kola. Okay, then. Uh, well, it's close, but uh, it is Yori. Uh, well, we're happy to have you all the same. <laughs> we're happy to have you all the Thank same. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank, um, you. Thank you. Good morning, we, viewers. Indeed. Um, is there something uh, that is worthy of note? Because it would appear as if the, um, um, the vibrancy, let us put it that way, the vibrancy of politics in Anambra seems to have heightened. And uh, this might have been occasioned, I imagine, uh, when the state chairman of APC in the state, Basil uh, AGDK, uh, says that um, come 2025, uh, uh, the ruling APGA in Anambra won't exist anymore. Of course, this wouldn't have been taken lightly by the authorities. Tell me all about it, sir. Uh, well, I wouldn't want to dwell uh, so much on the statement of the, the chairman of our great party in Anambra State, Honorable Chief Basile GDK. Uh, uh, I may also say that that statement is a statement of fact for now. Uh, as the ruling without, party, without wanting to dwell on it. Uh, well, yes, I don't want to dwell on it deeply. Uh, but as a ruling party at the National, uh, we are doing everything humanly possible to uh, prepare our great party, the All Progressive Congress, APC, in Anambra State ahead of the 2025 governorship election in Anambra State. There are a lot of things we have put in place, or we are putting in place in Anambra State today uh, to show that uh, APC is ready to take Anambra come uh, November 2025 governorship election. Okay, um, well, um, it's like people will say, um, let let the be, let the game begin, which indeed it would appear to have have already. Um, Abga in Anambra, um, it, it's been in power for what? It's seventeen years or so, and uh, it's sort of been come to be seen as a rock, uh, almost immovable. Uh, but then it's not alone in Anambra. There are other people, such as your very good self. There is APC in there. And um, you don't think uh, uh, that, um, how does one put it now? Uh, you, you, don't, you don't see Abga as an immovable rock in that place? Not at all. I don't see Abga as an immovable rock in Anambra State uh, because the likes of us, including myself, made Abga what it is in Anambra State. Don't forget the fact that... Uh, in 2019, when I was elected a member of House of Representatives, I went to the Ninth Assembly under ABGA. Uh, we built ABGA in Anambra State uh, when those days when I left uh, ACN, Action Congress of Nigeria, and joined uh, ABGA. We built ABGA in Anambra State, and uh, I was elected under ABGA platform in 2019 to the House of Representatives. And I can tell you today that uh, the word immovable rock is not the way it is today in Anambra State because the soul of the party in Anambra State is not in existence any longer. When the likes of myself and the other progressives in the party left, uh, it means that the, the immovable rock have finally moved. And those people that uh, came together to build the party in Anambra State have all left. And majority of them are coming into APC. And some of them are already in APC. And some have moved to Labour Party. 
a lot of them from this moment will start joining APC. By tomorrow, we are going to receive some of them uh, at the national headquarters of our great party in uh, Abuja here with the national chairman leading uh, other members of the NEC to receive them into APC. So okay. I can assure you that uh, 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 that impression people have about ABGA is no more there. I can assure you that. Okay, uh, but, but beyond me assuring me, I guess the more important person in this will be the uh, citizen of Anambra State, uh, India Anambra, as they say. Those are the people that are going to make it happen or not happen. And um, from what you've just said, it does seem that um, you are sure that you have a plausible case um, to be put before the citizens of Anambra. I mean, in all of this time, I'm just asking, so I just need to, uh, I need your enlightenment to know. Um, in order to, 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 to move an incumbent, you're going to have to make a certain appeal uh, to the citizenry. And that appeal is going to be based on uh, what you can do. Uh, that is, in this case, APC is your party now, your new party. You're going to have to be persuading the people of Anambra uh, about what you can do better than the incumbent is doing it. So what are those things that you're probably going to have to say uh, to those people who say, what's wrong with the situation that we have right now? Uh, first and foremost, as, as a member of APC in Anambra State and as a major stakeholder of the party, uh, we have outlined a lot of uh, programs, and activities that will, uh, that will take the party back uh, to the heart of the people. Uh, one first thing we are doing at the moment is to ensure that uh, APC is institutionalized in the 326 wards in Anambra State. And also that we'll have a base in the 5,000 720 pulling units in Anambra State. Don't forget the fact that uh, uh, people have their perception about APC. And if you have an, uh, ask an average Anambra person, uh, they will say that APC is not on ground in Anambra State. But let me say to you today that APC is deeply on ground in Anambra State, especially uh, what transpired in the last uh, uh, election, general election on the 25th of February 2023. Uh, I want to use my federal consultancy as, as an example of what really transpired. Recall that uh, the last time people saw broom in Anambra State was around 2011. After 2011, in 2023, Broome appeared again in Idemili North and South. I took the party to the people. I handed over the party to the people of Idemili North and South Federal Consultants. I outlined my programs, what I have done in my stay at the Ninth Assembly and what I intend to do if elected by the people to represent under the platform of APC. And I can assure you that if you look at the results of the election of 2023, especially in Eden, Mili, North and South, you will see that APC is deep on ground and APC have come to stay. Don't forget the fact that Idemili North and South is within the central senatorial zone where His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of Labour, came from. He is from Aniocha. I am from Idemili North, the central senatorial zone. I'm running an election under APC with the kind of tsunami that took place in February. One will imagine what kind of vote 
emanated from Idemili North and South? The answer is that the people of Idemili North and South once again believed in the APC and willing and they voted for APC. Our president today, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, got to the highest vote in Idemili North and South in the whole of Anambra State. I gave him the highest vote in the same senatorial zone where His Excellency Mr. Pitobi came from. APC got the highest vote in Anambra State from Idemili North and South. Idemili North gave the president the highest vote in Anambra State. And one will imagine how come, what happened? How can the people of Idemili North cast their vote? For Mr. President, and when they know that they have their own son contesting the same presidential election, yeah, it means that it took a lot of hard work, it took acceptability of the party in Idemili North and South, and also across other local government in Anambra State. But the truth of it is that. APC is acceptable in Anambra State. APC is acceptable in my federal constituency. And you may wish to look at the result of that election if you go to INEC, uh, uh, IREF platform. You will see the result of that election. And that will, that will further uh, explain to you if APC, APC as a political party has the capacity the tenacity to engage the people of Anambra State and ask them to vote for the party. Especially as we are looking forward to engaging the center because a lot of things are happening and you can see that uh, our people are not part of it and we are worried and we are looking forward to doing everything humanly possible to get our people on board so that we begin to enjoy the dividends of uh, democracy other, uh, other regions are enjoying at the center in this country. Okay. Well, um, indeed, this is the way that um, you would say it because um, you're no longer in APGA. You used to be in APGA, but you're not there uh, anymore. Now you're in APC. And there are quite a number of other politicians from that uh, uh, area uh, that you know, have uh, moved, progressed, shall we say, in the same sort of way. Um, but I think I've been uh, looking at some uh, news reports. I think one of the things that you, not necessarily you individually, but uh, people from uh, APC are saying that dissatisfies them is that they haven't seen anything that um, uh, the governor being, uh, um, and, his, and his ruling party, APCA, they haven't seen anything that he has done, and therefore it seems almost like, um, uh, to put it, you know, politically, it's almost like a walkover because um, there's so much that hasn't been done. Of course, they have given back as much as they got uh, by saying that it is only a blind man who would say that he has not seen what His Excellency the Governor uh, Soludo has been doing in Anambra State. So wh wh what really is going to be the thrust? Um, I hear what you've just finished telling me, but at the end of the day, you're going to be dealing with every individual Anambrarian. And does he see work done? Does he see that nothing has been done and so it makes your appeal uh, much better? What are the kind of things that are going to uh, persuade him? And by the way, of course, you can expect that APGA is probably going to, have, uh, is going to want the right of response. Uh, and it is already guaranteed even before they ask it. Uh, but I just said, let me put that out there. Well, uh, I would not want to uh, equate or I would not want to uh, assess the performance of the governor of Anambra State, Professor Chukuma Soludo, at the moment. On, individual, on my own capacity as an individual, I cannot as assess the performance of the governor. I, I still need to give him time. Okay. Uh, uh, he just he's just celebrated his one year in the office. By March seventeenth next year, it will be two years in office. Uh, 
Uh, from that point, I can assess the, perf the performance of the governor. At the moment, uh, I am not in a position to assess a governor, uh, the governor of Anambra State, based on performance. Uh, so you're not impressed I, by those I, also, who say... I, 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 can also, I can also, sincerely, I can also, he is doing his best at the moment. But my own concern is how to build APC in Anambra State. Okay. How to prepare right. my party to take over uh, uh, in the next uh, governorship election. And, okay. Uh, anything that we need to do, uh, we're already uh, preparing grounds for that. Fair enough. Fair enough. And that's why you're talking to us, letting us know that, um, look, um, you, you're preparing uh, for this uh, campaign, as it were. Uh, it's an important campaign where uh, your party, the APC, shall come to the fore to uh, challenge the status quo. It's been there for 17 years. And, um, you know, uh, you've just finished telling us that without, you know, uh, you know, irrespective of that, you feel that you're going to be even more ready uh, to take on the job. Uh, of course, um, the governor's office uh, has put out that APC does not exist. That's his point of view, that APC does not exist in Anambra at all. And, that, um, and if you, for your part, uh, you say that um, you, at the moment, you've even been quite a bit generous, saying that, look, come March, when he's two years old in office, you begin to look at it. But people are saying that even at this stage, can anybody say that they haven't seen the roads uh, that this administration uh, has uh, achieved? Uh, not that they are saying that that's the end of the job. Uh, so, you see, well, it's like people understand that, I guess this is like for the soul of Anambra. Uh, you want to do well for Anambra. The incumbent party wants to do well for Anambra. It has always been its preserve to do so. And uh, now there's a challenge that, look, APC at the center, it's even going to come up to here. We're going to get uh, Anambra uh, under the, uh, away from the yoke and uh, uh, begin to get good things happening or better things happening, I suppose, one should say, in Anambra. And that would be when, you know, the uh, APC in Anambra shall come to the ascendancy. That seems to be the way that an outsider can look at it, right? Let me deal with the issue of uh, this statement from, uh, 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 like you said, I don't know where you got that information. Uh, if that statement is from the, the, the ruling party in Anambra State, that's Abga saying that APC is not on ground in Anambra State. Yep, that's uh, directly, that is I not think. True. That, that, okay. Yeah, please continue. That is not Sorry. true. That, that is not true. That is not true. Let me give you an instance. And I'm always going to use the, this, in, this election, this just immediate past election in Anambra State. And as somebody who have represented a federal constituency, and I was a candidate in that election. And when I was running for House of Representatives with APC platform, a lot of people were saying that, I am not going anywhere with APC. I am making reference to you and ask you to go and check the results of that election in the Middle North and South Federal Consultants. I don't want to dwell in other places. Okay. I want to limit my argument with my base. Ide Middle North has to third majority of the votes in the whole of Anambra State. One word in Ide Mili North has over 68,000 registered voters, PVC collected. Ide Mili North House of Reps election. I have over 15,000 votes. 12 words. Abga has 6,800 and something votes. Abga, the state ruling party. I don't yes. want to talk about labor because there was a tsunami in that election. And major stakeholders of ABGA lost their pulling units to APC. 
OK, could you, could you just including hold the on state a chairman, in, Excuse me, excuse me. Including the, the present state chairman of ABGA lost his pulling unit to APC. I won the party in Ogidi 1 and 2. The House of Assembly member of ABGA extraction, who is from Umoji, my party has over 1,320 something votes in Umoji ward. That is where APC. A sitting House of Assembly member came from. APC. Okay. One moment. Let me, our our caller has been holding on. I, I, doctor, uh, uh, Doctor Thanks, you go, I'll come back yes. to you. Our caller has been holding on for quite a while. Uh, so I'll come back to you as soon as he's through. Uh, good morning, Mr. George. Uh, sorry for keeping you waiting. And thank you for no, holding okay. on. It's okay, Uncle Yari. Good morning and good morning to our guest. Yes. Uncle Yari, I have also been uh, following developments in Anambra State. I saw uh, Ifa Yumba, uh, Ed Kunise, and uh, some others crossing over to APC. Uh, Ifa Yumba is a very popular person in the Indian uh, way. Wherever he goes, he goes with his senatorial zone. That is assured from, from, from his past. We know that they were always following him to wherever he, he takes them to. But the guest needs to bear in mind that Professor Soludo was elected as governor of Anambra State, not because of Abga. It is because of his personal records and integrity. That's why the people uh, uh, voted him. Where, where are people like uh, Chris Ngige? who used to be the APC leader in the state. He just went on the ground like that. We didn't hear about him again. Why, what are they doing to rally people like that around and see how APC can be resuscitated in that state? And I want to suggest to him that Toludo is an independent thinker. I'm not, I'm not sure he's in politics on the basis of party. He's there because he wants to add value. Why don't you convince him to follow you to your new party? He may consider it on the basis of an uh, ideal and a necessity for the present time. He might come along with you, but if you go without him or you contest against him, it might be more difficult for you in, in, in the projection you have just Make. That's the way I'm seeing it. Perhaps you think over it and see how you can consider it. Thank you. All right, then, Mr. George. Uh, thank you for calling in. Uh, uh, a number of uh, suggestions in there. How, how, how would you react? Uh, first of all, um, he, he, the first thing he said is that what do you, you, you haven't mentioned, you know, names like uh, Ngige, uh, an, an APC man in the place. Does he have a, a role in any of the, in all of this? You know, you, you started this program with uh, dwelling much on the issue of ABGA. Uh, I think uh, we need to depart from that and look at uh, what... Ingege is not ABGA. Uh, uh, Ingege is not ABGA. I, I, I'm trying to... No, Ingege is APC. Uh -huh. So that was what I asked. Her. I, I said, said, I, I said when, when you started this program, you dwell more on issues that concerns APC and ABGA. Yes. Uh, I think this last caller did justice to, to this issue. Uh, we okay. should talk more about what we should do to build on the new transformed APC in Anambra State in preparation for the election of 2025. Sure. Because as a ruling party in Nigeria, we are not ready to go into uh, dragging issues with uh, the state ruling party. Uh, my concern today is what we need to do or what we are doing to project the party before the masses and to take the party back to the masses in Anambra State. 
that is my major concern and the concern of party members in Anambra State. Okay. Singige is a leader. He was a mm -hmm. former governor in Anambra State. He was a, a senator in the Eighth Assembly. He was an immediate past the Minister of the Federal Republic. And he's still a member of APC. That is one fact that I want to lay before you this morning. Then he mentioned about those senators that came in into the party. Somebody like Senator Ifan Yoba and Senator Uche Kunife. These are part of the things we are doing. Bringing major critical stakeholders in the party, both those that are in government and those that are not in government. Both those are in the grassroots area. These are part of the things we are doing. Ifan Yoba is a serving senator representing Anambra South Senatorial Zone. He won the first seat under YPP. The second, he's in the Senate, he won his second tenure under YPP. And now he's in APC. He won one House of Rep seat under YPP. He won three House of Assembly seats under YPP. All of them are moving into APC. Ifan Yoba is a very strong political heavyweight in Idem, in uh, Newi, not Newi South, Ekusigo, Orumba North, Orumba South, Aguata. You can imagine if Anyoba coming into APC with a structure in the seven local government, with a member of the House of Representatives and three House of Assembly members, and Uche Kunife that came from the central senatorial zone where I came from. Having been in the House of Reps in the seventh and in the eighth assembly, and being a senator of the Federal Republic, coming from Anambra Central Senatorial Zone, with all his structures in the seven local government, and my own self being a, a grassroots politician in Idemili North and South, bringing my knowledge, my experience, and my exposure politically on board APC, and rebranding APC in Anambra State. And somebody will say to you that APC is not on ground, and we are not preparing for the 2025 general election. What okay. we are concerned today... One second. I'm going to take a break now. We are going... I beg your pardon, Dr. Ibezi. I, I'm, thank you very much. Uh, I've got to take a break now so we can come back and um, I won't need to interrupt you. Please stay with